Today we've got an exciting show for you. We've hooked up with the PBR, which is one of the fastest growing sports in the world. In 1992, 20 accomplished bull riders took a risk. Each bull rider ponied up $1,000 apiece. See, they figured since bull riding is the most popular event in any traditional rodeo, just maybe they could make it into a standalone sport. Well, their gamble paid off big time. And the PBR was born. And it's one of the biggest, fastest growing sports in the world today. The PBR, unlike any other rodeo or bull riding organization in North America, is owned and operated by its athletes. Today, more than 700 bull riders from the US, Canada, Brazil, and Australia hold PBR membership. Each year, the PBR has a 29-city, $10 million tour. And at the end of the tour, the PBR brings its top 45 riders to the World Finals in the city that never sleeps, Las Vegas, Nevada, to compete for the World Championship and a million dollar payday. The PBR really puts on a first class show. From the intro to the bull riding, it'll have you sitting on the edge of your seat. It's always a fun time had by all. And you never know who you might see in the stands, from Jewel to Tommy Lasorda. So the next time that you hear of a PBR event in your town, do yourself a big favor and go. I guarantee you, you won't be sorry that you did. So let's see what some of the bull riders have to say about the PBR. You know, the, the PBR definitely puts on a, a an extraordinary, um, you know, event every single time. So uh, um, once you take a person out one time to see it, uh, they're going to love it. There, there's a lot of good bulls in the PBR. If you get one road at the top of this level, you're going to win a big old paycheck, so. I love the PBR and the riders, the stock contractors, the bullfighters, the, the gate man. I mean, the guys that put this arena together. We are all a big family. PBR. There's no other bigger sport there is. It's the PBR. And there's no other organization that can beat the PBR. Uh, there's lots of other organizations that try to mimic the PBR, but they don't, they don't stand, they don't have a leg to stand on against uh, what we've done with the PBR. I asked the CEO of the PBR if he had any problems with the animal rights activists. No, we, we've had to educate them and show them how well we take care of our animals. And after that, we've had zero, zero problems. The other events that you have most of your issues with in, in rodeo. And I, I think that they need to address them. I, I, I think that um, it's very important that we all address how we, we treat um, animals and humans. And I mean, in our sport, there's just as many human rights, in my op opinion, than animal rights. I mean, one out of every 13 rides is going to be an injury. So we, we, we take that very, very um, important. 